What? Oh. Sleep. I was wondering when we'd use her again. Sleep. Here I see it. Here I see it, amore. Standing here, amore. Wait, doesn't Green watch your videos? No, Wait, what? he said he doesn't. Right? No. Really? Why? He doesn't have time. Yeah, that's right. So he wouldn't have known that I'm the most hilarious person. No. Damn it. Where are we? Up your butt. Look there. I actually have to chase him. Mm -hmm. Are you shooting both of my nuts right now? Mm -mm. Fuck. No, no, no. Ow. Oh, sweet. You got an egg. I'm happy about that, actually. Two cows are talking in a field. One We're cow says. Actually, here. Two cows are talking at, at a farm. One cow says, I was artificially inseminated today. The other cow says, Really? The other. The first cow says, Really? No bull. Okay. That was actually kind of funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> Well, fuck. I hit the wrong button. He's gonna take us through every single fucking world, isn't he? Fuck! I just wanna get fucked. Okay, not every single world, but enough. Is this Merlin's mansion? So, what do you wanna do? Do you just wanna get fucked? <laughs> I guess we gotta chase him. Oh boy. Oh shit. Fuck you, Dementio. A dyslexic man walks into a bra. I'm gonna kill you. A man is having his doctor visit. He tells his doctor, Doc, I can't stop singing the green, green grass bath, grass of home. The doctor says, that sounds like Tom Jones syndrome. The man asks, is it common? The doctor replies, well, not it's unusual. not unusual. <laughs> I know that one. It's not unusual. You have no idea how much relief they have when <laughs> when playing seven, it's <laughs> what's new pussycats when it's not unusual comes on. I did that to Toast, he thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome! An invisible mayor marries an invisible woman. The kids were nothing to look at either. Speaking of the invisible man, the invisible man goes to the doctor. He says to the receptionist, Ma'am, I have a really bad stomach pain. And the nurse says, Alright, I'll go make you an appointment with the doctor right now. She goes back behind there and says, uh, Doctor, the invisible man is here to see you. He says he has a stomach pain. The doctor says, Tell him I can't see him right now. Okay. Is what this you... just bad pun time? Yeah. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Two peanuts walked into a bar. One was ace salty. Uh Gandhi you, walked barefoot Rachel. most of the time which produced an impressive set of calluses on his feet. He ate very little, which made him frail, and with his diet, he suffered from bad breath. This made him a super callous, fragile mystic hex by halitosis. Well, fucking then. Oh, hold on, hold on, I got one like that. Shut up. I, I, I got a joke. Right. Are you stealing the Nick Jack Paddywhack thing from, uh... No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. A couple is watching in, uh, walking in St. Petersburg Square on Christmas Eve. They feel slight precipitation. I think it's raining, says the man. No, it's snowing, says the woman. How about we ask this communist officer here? He's always right, exclaims the man. Officer Rudolph, is it raining or snowing? Definitely raining, Officer Rudolph replies before walking off. The man turns to his wife with a smile. See? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> 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 okay, that's actually kind of funny. A woman has twins and gives them up for adoption. One of them goes to a family in Egypt and is named Amal. The other goes to a family in Spain, they name him Juan. 
Years later, Juan sends a picture of himself to his birth mother. Upon receiving the picture, she tells her husband that she wishes she also had a picture of a mall. Her husband responds, They're twins. If you've seen Juan, you've seen them all. <laughs> I like that one. But you said it, and now I really do want to tell the knickknack patty rock joke. You better. Please do. Because he, okay. he, cause fire might not know it. Yeah, okay. No, let, I know let it. Me, I know it alright. Let me... Let me get it. Uh, while he's doing, while well, she's doing that, a man walks into a bar with a slab of asphalt under his arm. He says, "A beer, please, and one for the road." I hate that this is now officially shitty pun time, but I also love it at the same time. All right, I can't quite remember how it goes, um, and I can't find a. All right, okay, the, I, 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 found, I found, okay, I found it. Convicted hitman Jimmy Two Shoes McLarney confessed today that he was once hired to beat a cow to death in a rice field using only two small por porcelain figurines. Please admit that this may be the first known case of a knickknack paddywhack. Yeah. <laughs> That's classic. Mm. Oh god, fucking Colin Mockery. I went to buy some camouflage clothes the other day, but I couldn't find any. <laughs> oh my god. I can't find it, there's only soup. <laughs> I'm at soup! And on that note, my brand! Speaking of my brand, a man woke up in a hospital after a serious accident. He shouted, Doctor, Doctor, I can't feel my legs. The doctor replied, I know you can't, I cut off your arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I went to a seafood disco last week and pulled a muscle. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Get the hell out. Two fish swim into a concrete wall. The one turns sealer and says, "Damn." <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of good. Either that or it's just so late, I'm kind of loopy. Yeah. I fun. don't have Bowser. So All right, fuck. this one might be a little bit of stretch. A group of chess enthusiasts walk into a hotel and we're standing in the lobby discussing their recent tournament victories. After about an hour, the manager came out of the office and asked them to disperse. But why? They asked as they moved off. Because, he said, I can't stand chestnuts ho boasting in an open foyer. Oh my god. I need to smack you. Well, there was a person who sent 20 different puns to his friends with the hope that at least 10 of the puns would make them laugh. No pun intended. Uh, huh. Alright, oh, I got funny. one. This is a bit of a novel, though. A church's bell ringer passed away. So they posted the position, and a man came in with no arms wanting the job. The clergy weren't sure he could do it, but he convinced them to let him try it. They climbed the bell tower, and the guy ran through the bell and hit it with his head. They gave him the job. The next day he went to ring the bell, tripped, bounced off the bell, and fell to the sidewalk below. Two guys were walking past. One asked, do you know this guy? The second guy responded, no, but his face rings the bell. <laughs> the next day, the dead bell ringer's twin brother comes in for, for the again nasty. vacant bell ringer position. He also has no arms. They lead him up to the bell tower. He runs at the bell, trips and falls to the sidewalk below. The same two guys walk by. First asks, do you know him? The second guy says, no, but he's a dead ringer for the guy we saw yesterday. <laughs> hey oh. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Where is this fucking thing? Two Eskimos are sitting in a kayak, and they're very chilly. So they light a fire in the craft. Unsurprisingly, it sank, proving once again you can't have your kayak and heat it too. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... What did I get into when I started this fucking thing? I'm seriously trying to figure out where this fucking thing is because I can't see with shit. It's at the top. <sighs> a jumper cable walks into a bar. The star bartender says, I'll serve you, but don't start anything. <laughs> I get the feeling you're using the exact same shitty joke website as the one that Dan used in in uh in that game Grumps Kirby's Epic Giant episode. Also, we've reached the four hour limit on this group video call. Wow. It's been four hours. Holy shit. Um, uh you you just have to yeah. start restart the screen share. Okay. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Go for Enjoying it. Enjoying my game of tag. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One of them asks, Is this taste funny to you? 
Hey, you know, since this is Dementio's episode, I'm sure that this is a, a wonderful homage to the fucking Jester. Yeah. By the way, Weege. <laughs>